Okay. Um, I'm guessing a task error. I would assume a Our task as yet. well. Yeah. yeah. Da, da, da. So to reschedule it, we would have to double click and then we actually, we would go through the calendar view. So for your calendar view, you would then go to the clean that you wanted. And if you were looking to post date it or postpone it to another time, you would just simply grab and you can move it to any slot on any day if you'd like. For deleting, you would have to go through the original, remove your audit, hit save, and then it should remove the actual bubble. Any support in this, I would actually reach out to our support email or chat uh, to help out with that because I know doing it the first time would be a little bit more difficult. Okay, good. Thank you. Thank you, Grace. Any more questions? Do we need to create a new account or we can use the same account as on maintenance care? No, I can answer that one. You would need to register for that one. Uh, and for that to happen, you would need to reach out to us. We would have one of our product specialists uh, reach out to you then. Uh, and uh, that will be the trick. And then you would have to uh, join and, and pay a monthly fee. It is not included with maintenance care. Thank you, Delvir. Uh, Fred, how are the questions added to the tasks? So your questions are added through your checklists on the left-hand side. You're able to add in the top left. You then get to pick what the name of that item is, what type of off dropdown it is. I typically go with the table matrix. Uh, and then you're able to add once it's created, Underneath, you're able to actually select the questions, you can add questions, and then you would just be able to click these on and it would add to the actual checklist. Now, adding the audit type would be a part of scheduling. So if I were to go back to my schedule and I click it, the audit is simply here. You click, I can then click whichever checklist I wanted added it would then hit save and then be populated within the housekeeper's schedule. Perfect. Thank you. Um, Stephanie, can you build schedules in advance and then assign them to staff on a daily or weekly basis? Uh, yeah, of course. So like I was showing before, we can. you would have to attach it to one of your housekeepers and that could just be a generic one and we typically would name that just generic. Uh, and then you would then be able to take those, you can assign from here, or you can click multiple, and let's say these all need to go to someone else, you then hit assign selected, and then you choose the user from here. Perfect. And hit okay. Thank you, thank you. Uh, Christy, can we see the reports that are available? Mm -hmm. um, I can show a few. Go ahead. So in your reporting section, we're going to go to our all reports here. And I'm going to show you kind of a, the most popular, uh, and it gives you the most information. So when we're in our reports, we're going to go to our tasks. We're going to simply go to our general, and then the task CLS. Maintenance care customers will notice that the naming convention is similar, um, but once chosen, you have tons of different parameters you're able to select from. Uh, so you can isolate a specific piece of information if you'd like, or you can leave it broad like myself. So I'm gonna look at a seven day uh, worth of data, simply hit the submit button. You get which cleanings were done, what ones are still to be done. You can have notes in there, who it was modified by. Scrolling over will give you some resolutions. And then if there were Sometimes most of mine were just simply hitting the check mark super quick. That's why everything says zero, uh, but all your timers would be added up.